Okay. Well, hello out there in YouTube land. We are just messing around today, trying to use up some paints I've had sitting for a while, and uh, I'm out of Floetrol at the moment. I'm sure a lot of people are feeling, feeling the pinch. So just kind of doing what we can with what we've got, taking advantage of the day, and going to try a new technique using the um, open cup pour. I've been seeing people doing that and it looks really, really neat. So we're gonna give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna start with, and these are just craft paints um, that I have. Um, doing something different, gonna go with a tan background, hopefully. I say that. If I have enough to keep things going. And you know what? It's all about happy accidents and just seeing how things play out. So, these are the paints that I got. They're ones that I haven't used much of, so I am going to use them for this. Um, and I'm sure somebody watching this is going to be like, what is she doing? She's so clueless. And yes, yes I am. I'm just starting out. And I think how you learn is by trying stuff. And this was all, you know, trial and error basically. Nobody was born knowing how to do this stuff. And uh, a lot of it is just a lot of creative people coming up with really neat ideas and saying, huh, I wonder I wonder what would happen if I did it this way instead of that way. So we're gonna we're gonna go with that and see how it turns out. Um, okay, I'll try and start with some brown. And again, not a clue of how this is gonna turn out. But that's the fun of it. Could be a hot mess. It's entirely possible. Could be one of the coolest things I've ever made. So, you never know. I did a uh, swipe the other day that did not at all go how I intended, but I really liked it. So, that's the joy of experimenting. That sometimes you get unexpected results and I can guarantee you whatever happens with this is going to be unexpected. These paints are looking really gloopy. Mm. A little concerned about that. Well, at worst it uses up these old paints that have been sitting around. So we'll see what happens. That's the fun We'll just keep pouring. Just like Dory, just keep pouring, just keep pouring, 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 pouring. Stuff going on, a little bloopage coming out on some of these. Kind of migrating on its own there. Can't tease it back this way. So. And I have absolutely no plan with these. Whoa! Run away cup. Run away cup. Come back here. Uh, <laughs> no, like that. Absolutely no plan here. I'm just winging it like you do. It may just turn into a big old pile of mud, which is basically what it's looking like right now. And like I said, that's entirely okay. Ooh, no, that's kind of cool. That's 
sort of a peacocky action going on there. I really like that. That's so pretty yummy. Oh, yes. Um, hmm, what else do I want to add to that? I'm ignoring the others, but I'm really taking what's happening with this right here. Sorry guys, I'll be back with you in a moment. I just, I love, 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 and I think I say this every time, but it's absolutely true. What I love about um, this art form is you just have to kind of give up that illusion of control. Um, and that's one thing that always kind of kept me away from art in the past is just concern about, you know, not doing it right, not being perfect, not being what I see in my head. But, um, yeah, you know, screw that. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, it is what it is. I'm really regretting kind of that beige background because that's not very attractive. But, hey, you never know. So we'll find out. Let's try this part. See if we can get some good stuff going on with him. I, I don't know what that was. It's, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know about that. That's some gloopy looking paint there. That's going to be ugly. Oh, me, yeah, I know. Let's add some more. Maybe, maybe I'll just hold off on that. <laughs> we just won't do that one. That one's scaring me. We'll put that one back for another time. All right, let's throw maybe the last of this navy blue in here. I hope you are all out there. Well, presumably, if you've got time to sit and watch this video, you're hopefully doing well. Um, it is April the 9th, 2020. Um, we're in the height of COVID-19, coronavirus. I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home. I'm so thankful of that, both me and my husband. So that has been an absolute blessing to be able to um, not have to be on the front lines. I have family members in healthcare, several of them. Um, so I just so appreciate what they do, the risks they take, uh, as well as, you know, the people working in the grocery stores and the convenience stores and, and everybody who's truly essential to keeping us going and having what we need uh, as we go through all this together. We're all in it in one big boat. So, um, we will see how it all turns out on the other side. And hopefully you're watching this years from now and everything's good and everyone's, um, and the world's a better place. That's the only thing we can hope for is that this has been a growth opportunity for the world, uh, not just our country, but all of them to take stock and define who they are and what's important to them. So that's my hope. In the meantime, we're going to make art and we're going to try and bring some joy and happiness and creativity and light and all those <laughs> hippy, hippy dippy things. Uh, but no, it's true. Like I said, we, uh, we, we've learned nothing if, if we have not realized from um, the quarantines and you know, being at home uh, for a lot of us you know, with limited access to the things that we're used to having out in the world. Just the importance of art and artists and of having people to share their creativity, you know, Lord knows the the YouTube and the Hulu and, and us, us online here, out here posting our work and um, 
giving people something to look forward to, hopefully, something to enjoy. You can say, yeah, I wouldn't have done it that way at all. Um, so, yeah. All right. I think I've babbled probably enough. And I think I've poured enough. So, let me get all these guys out the way. Sorry, that'll take just a second. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. But that's the fun of it. And, of course, you know, if you've been doing this for any length of time or you've been watching these, uh, not just my videos but other people's, then you know of course what we end up uh, when I get through tilting and all is still not necessarily what the finished product will look like because that can be anybody's guess. So yeah, I've still got some paint on some of these. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, use them up because I don't want to A, put them down the the sink, um, you know, because that is that is a bad thing, and my husband will lose his mind. So um, I have to find an alternate way of cleaning these bottles and everything um, in a way that's you know not harmful to the environment, and that can sometimes be a challenge. So I'm gonna get these guys. These guys up. That's the one thing that I've not really cared for with the um, open cup pours is I end up with like the big bloop uh, from where the cup was. Oh, see, now that was better. That was good. I like that. I'm trying to do something similar with this one. Because otherwise you end up with like that, like that big bloop. A pond O color. Yeah, okay, really don't <laughs> like this. It looks like, like, it looks like melted chocolate. All right, we'll just be honest here. So let's see what happens when we start moving stuff about. So those paints um, had been sitting in bottles for some time. Uh, several months to be honest because I kept getting new paint so those were like my original craft paints when I first started trying out when I did not want to spend a lot of money because I wasn't sure how it was gonna go oh my god I'm loving that side over there um, so you can see there's <laughs> some real difference in consistencies um, which is kind of cool with the fluid dynamics fancy way of saying how it's moving about um, some colors are moving faster than others. Trying to get coverage. Okay, I, I have to say I'm actually really digging this now. Um, take that corner. Come on. Come on. I don't want to lose the gorgeous splash. And I did not put silicone in any of these. Um, so I can just smudge it. And as I've got the paint under here to smudge it with, I don't want to lose too much of my top, you know, in a in a battle to try and get the corners covered. God, really? I, I, okay, I have to say this is much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, when you're happy with what you've got and you're just like, please don't let me drop it. Okay, I, I'm really digging this. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. So yay, thank you. Um, Touching it. Okay, we're gonna stop. All right, I'm very happy with the way this one turned out, and um, we will see how it dries because that will be the proof of the pudding. 
And I thank you all for coming with me on this little journey of creativity today. And I will pick back up in a few weeks once it's had time to dry. All right.